Hello everyone, how are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. You are welcome to our channel. Please subscribe if you have not. And make sure the bell is turned on. So that you will always get notification. On this channel, I guide you. I teach you what to do. How to reach out to God to get your speedy answer. So join us, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. So today, we are going to read this powerful scripture, Isaiah 65, verse 1 to 2. So get your Bible and open to Isaiah 65, verse 1 to 2. I'm using the Good News version of the Bible. You can use King James or any other version you have, okay? Now, you are going to pray with this. Isaiah 65. Verse 1 to 2, the Lord said, I was ready to answer my people's prayer, but they did not pray. I was ready to answer my people's prayer, but they did not pray. I was ready for them to find me, but they did not even try. The nation did not pray to me, even though I was ready to answer. Here I am, I will help you. I have always been ready to welcome my people who stubbornly do what is wrong and go their own ways. Here is God telling you that he is willing to help you, even when you are a sinner. There are many people, when they commit sin, they are scared to pray to God. They conclude that God will not answer them. See, when you already conclude that God will not answer you, God delays, God does not listen, God is slow, you are already destroying your prayer. Have you tried? Just because this person has prayed and yet has not gotten answer does not mean that your case will be the same. Just because you have prayed for one thing, and you have not gotten that thing does not mean that you cannot keep on praying or pray for other things. There are different reasons God does not give you what you want. At times, you pray for something. Maybe God has seen that you are not prepared for that blessing. He will take his time to prepare you for that blessing and prepare that blessing in a way that it will give you happiness because because the lord plans good for all of us he plans good things he does not give you a blessing that will purge you or kill you so he has to prepare this blessing and prepare you also so many of you you already conclude that god does not answer the Lord has said in Isaiah 65, I was ready to answer my people's prayer. But they did not pray. They did not pray. How many of you even remember to pray when you have a problem? How many of you even remember to cry out to God? I'm not talking about after you have run to this, run to that, then you now come, oh God help me. No. When you have a problem, when something is going wrong, the first thing that should come to your mind is to pray to God, to call on God. And secondly, you don't need to wait till you have a problem before you pray. There are many of us, when there is no problem, we desert God, we leave God, we forget about our prayers. When things are going on well, when everything is okay, when you are moving forward, when you seem all right, you forget God. It is only when we have problem, we remember that there is God and this annoys God. God created you to worship him. God created you to serve him, whether you have a problem or not. So if you always wait to have a problem, if you always wait to have a challenge before you remember to pray that means you are always praying for problem that is it and that is why some people they are always in trouble 
they always have problem from one problem to another because God is using that to bring you close to him. He knows that without that problem, you will forget and abandon your faith. So now, check yourself. When you don't have problem, how many times do you remember to pray? When you don't have problem, how many times do you seek the face of God? Do you just pray to thank God? It does not mean that all your prayers must be, God give me, God give me. You can decide to pray and to thank God. God, you are wonderful. God, you are mighty. I worship you. You don't need to wait till when you need something. So God is saying that he is willing to answer you. Just pray. That is the message in Isaiah 65. I was ready for them to find me, but they did not even try. Did you even try seeking the face of God in your problem? Did you even try seeking help from God before running Heather Skeeter? You need money. All you do is to run to your neighbors to beg, to run to your colleague to beg. Instead of you begging, instead of you reducing yourself, why not go to God? See, when you go to people and beg them always, they will always use this to insult you. They will always look down on you. They will always intimidate you. They will always oppress you. They will never respect you because when you beg and borrow, you are bringing down your self-respect. When you need money urgently and you know that you don't have that amount of money in your house, in your bank account, why not go on your knees and pray to God first? Let God direct you to somebody that will give you that money without insult. See, when God brings you helper, that helper will help you and bless you. That helper will not help you and mock you. When you see people mocking you, when you see people laughing at you, when they ridicule you, it is because they are not helpers from God. You on your own went to them. When you need anything, instead of you going to people who will laugh at you, who will mock you, who will use that thing to insult you, why not go down on your knees first and tell God? See, whenever I have a problem, whenever I pray to God, I see my answer, except God does not want that for me at that point. At times, there are some things you pray for, God does not want that for you. God has his own plans. So from now on, try to seek the face of God. You tell me you have debt to clear. You are indebted. Instead of you borrowing, instead of you going to beg, have you even begged God? Have you even cried out to God to help you? He has said in Isaiah 65 that he will listen to you. He's willing to answer you, but you did not even pray. He's ready for you to find him, but you did not even try. Even with your sin, he's willing to come to you. He's willing to help you. So now what do you do? All you need to do is to pray for forgiveness. Is to tell God you are sorry. Is to come back to him. Is to give your life to Christ. Is to stop hurting people around you. Stop the violence. Stop the quarry. Stop the fight. Stop the, the evil. And submit to God. And tell God to come and help you. And pray to God. And see, when you pray to God and you don't have faith, it is as if you have not prayed. Because I know that some of you will tell me, I have prayed, but God has not answered. When you pray, did you believe? It is not as if after you have prayed, you are still crying. You still worry. Worry does not solve anything. Feeling sad does not solve anything. Even if you cry from now to the end of the world, you go to people and start crying, they will only mock you. The day you have issues, they will laugh at you. They will throw these things at your face. They will call you names. So instead of you complaining to people, giving them topic to discuss about you, why not 
come to God and believe. Faith is more important than prayer. Any prayer without faith is as if you wasted your time. So whenever you pray, stop the worries. Stop feeling bad. Stop pity party. Stop complaining and be happy because you know that the King of glory is there. God Almighty is there listening to you. You know that he is there to listen to you. He has said you should call upon him in Isaiah 65. Call upon him. Even in Matthew 7 verse 7, call upon him. He is willing to listen. He wants you to find him or just look for him. Seek his face and believe and believe. So from now on, my dear people of God, whenever you have a problem, if you need anything, the first thing that should come to your mind before begging is to go on your knees, is to go on your knees and pray to God and seek solution. God never disappoints. Human beings might laugh at you. They might mock you. They might help you and use that thing to mock you. They will do something for you tomorrow. When you have issues, they will use that thing to curse you. But God is not like that. Always a neck booker. He does that good thing. And he doesn't use this thing he has done for you to laugh at you. He does not demand you to pay him for anything. All you need to do is to keep on worshiping God. Is to keep on praising him. He's the only person that will help you without narrating the help. Without telling the whole world that he has helped you. He will help you. He does not go back on his words. He has said you should pray. You should seek him. You will find him. You should ask and you will receive. All you need to do is to leave your sin. Commit yourself to God. Believe and have faith. Because he has said in Matthew 17 verse 26. If you have faith, you can tell a mountain to move. And that mountain will move. The reason why things are not working, the reason why your prayer is not working is because you are faithless. You are just praying because you see people are praying. You don't believe. That God has not given you that thing now does not mean he will not give you. God has his own time. So everything has his time. Wait for your time. Wait for God. And God will never fail you. That is the message today. And always read this scripture. And pray like this, Lord God, as you have said in Isaiah 65 verse 1 that if I pray, you are willing to listen. If I find you, you are willing to come to me. Lord, I pray to you. Lord, I find you. Lord, come to my help. Whenever you are praying, always make reference to the scripture. Hold God by his words. Even if heaven and earth pass away, the words of the Lord will never pass. God does not go back on his words. It's not like a man that will promise you today, tomorrow, next tomorrow. God does not procrastinate. He does not push his blessing. If he has said he will do it, wait for your time, he will do it. Don't be worried. And I pray for you, child of God. I pray that God will give you the grace to listen. We give you the strength to wait for him as you pray to him in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. And make sure the bell is turned on so that you can always get updates. You come and watch and God will bless you in the name of Jesus.